The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. I did hear that they were coming through necessary media. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We are back again for another live episode of Necessary TV. I want to thank everybody out there tuning in. Make sure, like I've told you before, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your kids, hide your husband, hide your wives, because we're out here and we're doing things, and I need you to get as much support along with this as possible. Now, again, like I've said before, this is a show where we discuss things that are local, national, serious to silly. Now, we had a, a big thing going on in the Fall River area. If you're not familiar with it, we've had this trash problem going on for like, it feels like forever now. But that's not gonna be the main focus of today's conversation. I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. We'll touch on a lot of things, but I wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So um, I brought in, I had some people, I made some arrangements with some people that you, some of you out there might be familiar with. You might have caught on to this uh, lately. They, they're a little bit of a thing out there. But um, yeah, so eventually we're gonna, we're gonna get to some things. But right now, I Intern, could you get the door? Maybe that's my, my guess. No? No. I don't know if he... Hey, no. No. I have no money. No, no. All right. I know for a fact that wasn't my guess, and that's the same lady that popped in last week. I, I told her before... I'm not, I'm not, whatever she's trying to sell, I'm not buying it. I'm not 100% sure though if, if the audience even caught that because the TV in here is a little iffy, but that was, we gotta work on some things here still. But that was, well, intern, she's back again. No, I have no money. No, no. That's not my guess. These are my guests. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Joe Amaral and Scotty Medeiros of Whatever Bro Films. What's going on, guys? What's up, Big Mike? How's it going, man? Pretty good. Good uh, to be here. Good to be you, here. As you can see, I, I got this shtick going on. I got a nice little setup here. I got I got I'm interns impressed. working back. They hustle and they do me a lot of favors with this. Believe me, if it wasn't for the interns, this wouldn't be going on. And I think you guys seen there's a lot of stuff that goes on here that yeah, it, it's 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 cool. It's I was overwhelmed. Yeah, overwhelmed. Yeah, it's the nicest studio we've ever been a part of and probably ever will be. Oh, uh, wait know. a minute. So you know what that means? Stay positive, though. This is probably the biggest, the biggest. interview you ever had. You've ever had? Oh, uh, well, well, at least of your career. Yes. 100%. Because I mean, <laughs> like, I've, I've seen your guests. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, this is, look at, look. But now, see, I, I won't even play the sound bite about the most views because you guys, for everybody out there who doesn't know, Okay, these guys have been out for a while. I've known them since the days of MySpace, ladies mm. and gentlemen. How many out there remember MySpace? Top for, eight. All, for all you, <laughs> yeah, it was, who's in the top eight? I think we were in each other's top eight. We had the, the local thing going, this is true. Now, for all you little little takes out there, you're not gonna know what the hell we're talking about, all you young kids, but back in the days of MySpace, that was pretty much where Facebook has turned into now, <laughs> to be honest. Mm, yeah. Only you can't be as cool with the backgrounds as you wanna be, you can't make uh, your own thing out of it. But uh, it's, it's now pretty much turned into a how to hustle your, your personal business and everything, which is great. But I'm just so back in the day, that's what it was. And these guys have been doing a lot of things as far as uh, YouTube. Now, I'm pretty sure, I want to get into a little bit on you guys, probably for like five, six minutes or so. But you guys started off pretty much just running through with YouTube, right? I don't think there was any other medium around before that. Yeah, we started out YouTube. <clears throat> but like our editing was really kind of very low budget. Uh, it wasn't very clear. But like the website we used to first get out there was YouTube. Right, now you say the editing and whatnot was pretty low budget. At the time when YouTube was first starting, which is why I think you guys uh, have 
even uh, the decent fan base that you have right now is because even a lot of the big people, which I want to get into a side story about, I want to hear one live version of the side story about you guys actually getting involved with a big person from YouTube. That whole Jenna, uh, Jenna Marble situation, okay. that was hysterical to me. Mm -hmm. I still find that funny. I know it's a lot of people don't of, know the story there. All right, well, I, do you want to put that out there? I think Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's hysterical. It's one of the best things I've ever seen in, in my you know post world. But um, back then, when YouTube was starting, I mean, nobody had really great quality. And then eventually, the people who started picking up stuff started putting money into it. And now those are the ones most likely. The people who started in the beginning and then started just putting money into it over and over again and built their fan base up. That's the ones that are big now. They've just dumped money into quality, or they've gotten you know people to back them up. So what, I think it was a uh, even playing field at the time. Um, now, did you, was it just joking around? Was it something, when did it turn into something where you were like, you know, I think we should continue to play around with this. Let's, well, let's we see where we can um, take this. We had discussed this when we were like 23, maybe 22, 23. I was on vacation from work and uh, we had talked, well, this was when YouTube was just getting big. Yeah. And um, we're like, we should make YouTube videos. And we're like, ah. So I made one by myself. Just set the camera up, edited it myself. It was something funny, it was silly. He saw it and he was like, wow, that's pretty good. And from then on, we just started making YouTube videos. It's just the tough part is what we do is we write it, we direct it, we film in it. We have a we're, we don't even have a cameraman, so we do everything. We don't spend money. We have an editing program from Walmart or Best Buy. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it's only been us two ever. It's it's a lot easier when you have a crew, well, hey, somebody listen, to film, man, somebody I to edit. I understand completely. Now I'm lucky again to have two interns, Jake and Kelly. For everybody out there who knows Team JK, I got two interns, Jake and Kelly. That's about it, and they do very minimal. The rest of that load is on me now. The camera work and everything, Jake's got that down pat, which I give him so many props for that, and I appreciate it. Other than that, this I understand that weight bears down. So it's like I have, I think, the same drive you have as you guys have as far as wanting to create stuff, but the workload becomes intense. Now, how do you guys usually go about it? If you're gonna say, you, what's the process like of you know, a, a beginning to end of a video coming out? What's it usually like? I would say the writing has to be sort of one or the other has to start it and like do a rough draft. Um, as far as as far as like edits and stuff, like the other guy can say, you know what, let's add this or let's add that. But there's always just one of us who really I've, writes the script. I've been a part of that process. You have. The ad lib process. You've been a, in one of our videos. I did, but I mean, to specifically, the only reason I bring it up is that ad lib point. I think ad libbing is one of the most important things you can do when it comes to especially comedy, probably other genres too, but comedy because you're in the moment. Mm. Whatever feels funny at the moment, throw it out there. If people laugh, it's, it's staying. If it sticks, it sticks. Yeah, the mm -hmm. script is a baseline for us for the most part. So a script is basically what, you know, the direction we're going to go. But yeah, like the video you were in, Skip Jackson, you can put that into YouTube or, or put Whatever Bro Films into YouTube. Yeah, feel, guys, plug away. Whatever Bro Films, anywhere dot on com. computer. Whateverbrofilms.com. You put in Whatever Bro Films, you put in um, Skip Jackson's a great video. Yep. There's a couple. Fall River, we come up a lot. If you go on YouTube, just throw in Whatever Bro Films, we pop up right away. Mm -hmm. um, and lately we've been more inclined to go on Facebook. We've been posting our videos on Facebook a lot because we've been noticing a big jump in views. I tried to, I had a conversation with Scotty about this and um, there's a lot of people out there who just don't understand it. And to tell you the truth, there's not a lot of trade secrets I want to put out there. So everybody else can do the work, the due diligence, due diligence and learn. But some information, I'm sh and I'm, I'm saying it because you guys already know and everybody out there should know at least. Like you're saying about posting on Facebook, Facebook's going to um, support what you put on uh, Facebook more than they're going to support another outside website. So if you put something, say, on YouTube and now you plug it on, on Facebook, what people don't understand is Facebook just doesn't post what you post. They post in the order they feel like. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if, if you give them something on their own website, they're going to be like, awesome, let's shoot that thing up. And that's know? what we're doing. And it's working out. That's how yep. it's going to, whatever's going to work out, you know? You know what else, too? The fact that it's just, it's autoplay. Exactly. So <laughs> you, you're, you're kind so of you don't have a choice, yeah. right? You don't have a choice. Now, I have yet to do this, but again, after talk with you, I've I've, I've seen it so many times. But then the re the rationalization kicks in of the most important thing I'm going to say I think is the autoplay because all you got to do on a, either most of, most smartphones now, especially I know an I, with the iPhones and then any new real smartphone. But then if, uh, definitely if you're on a laptop, you just scroll. That thing's playing. That counts. <laughs> and yep. then if you get if you're smart enough to get somebody's attention in the first couple seconds or whatever, boom, you got them hooked. You're good to go. Absolutely. Um, all right, so I, again, just I know you have numerous stories, but while I try to balance out this show, 
I do, I do want to hear the, the the meeting of Jenna Marbles. It's funny because it's more we could tell what, what, what happened with Ryan. Well, the, you can do it. Yeah. You can it was throw more whatever a, you want under the bus while you're here. Feel oh, yeah. free. But I know that I know tell the, you the story from beginning to end. Yeah. It's a great. I just and I'll, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is PG-13. <laughs> but you guys can say whatever you want. Just dance around the words, please. Do what you got to do with that. Yeah. We we had a contest. We won this contest for Budweiser. And Band of Buds. Band of Buds. Mm -hmm. Yep. Long story short, they sent us to Boston. Us, me, and three friends, or him and three friends, whatever. So we had me, him, my friend Alan, Beloy, shout out, my friend Ryan Paul, shout out. They were like brothers. So we went up there in a limo with 16 people. We didn't even know who Jenna Marbles was at the time. Really? No clue. Okay. She was the host. She was some hot girl who was kind of annoying. That's all right. we knew. Yeah. I, I had never heard of her until like later. Well, I think the difference is there's a big difference between pre and post makeup Jenna too. <laughs> I'll throw that out there. I don't care. No holes barred. Shots she's fired. A, she's she gets she gets beast. views. She no, she, she gets, gets views, clicks. but these are one of those people that were established from the very beginning. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. honest to God, if you look at her compared to, uh, there's another one that I'm a fan of. I, I support everybody out there checking her out. You ever watch a uh, community channel? It's like an uh, Asian Australian chick. So listen, Je same type deal. Only she puts more uh, quality into her product. It's a funnier product. The editing, dude, you love the editing. How it's, it's just, it's phenomenal. So in comparison, it's just way funnier. But Jenna Marbles has been around for so long. She's just established herself as an entity in the, the now formed business. Mm. So, but again, I'm, I'll say shots fired. I don't care. There's a huge difference between pre and post makeup Jenna. I don't care what anybody says, but I, my, my fault. Please continue. It's all right. So we're there and we're getting like red carpet. So every, there's other groups too. We've got their friends with us. We're getting like right. red carpets and we get up there and we were already, everyone was already drunk. So <laughs> yeah. we just went, went nuts. And then band of brothers. We were on stage for a while. We did, what did we do? We did, um, they made us do like... It was like a Jeopardy segment. Yeah. It, it was questions that you had to know about your friends. Yeah. We actually like competed considering like I haven't known, I hadn't known like the other three that long. Yeah. They had all known each other for a while. Yeah. Um, but we ended up doing good on the Jeopardy. Uh, Jenna just happened to be the host of that. Mm. It was just a big coincidence yeah, she that Jenna... She us and we were wrecked. We were Ryan Paul's maniac. <laughs> he yeah. grabbed the mic yeah. and then pulled it with him and then... Um, anyway, at the end... We had a chance to go to Vegas because it was coming down to the last two teams, and it was these four kids and us. And Ryan was blackout drunk, couldn't be found half the time. And they asked him, I'm gonna edit this here, but they, they asked him, they said, all right, listen, you have your team, which was us, and you have the other team. Why should we send you to Vegas? Now, here was our chance to win. <laughs> oh, yeah, did right. you say something? Yeah, just a good great. answer. We had, Everything's going we great. We had about 45, 50 people chance. <laughs> whatever, because we would have whatever, bro. <laughs> Everything's going good. And Everything's then Ryan, <laughs> Ryan goes. Make sure you bleep here. I'm going to bleep. Ryan <laughs> says, why should we go to Vegas? With his eyes closed, and he says, because I bleep your mom. <laughs> Silent. Dream Man. shattered. Game <laughs> over. I'm not going to lie to you. They gave us another chance. Did they? She said, did you hear what I just said to you? I said, this is your chance to go to Vegas. Why should we pick you? And he goes, because I bleeped your sister, too. And that was it. Yeah. Done. Limo didn't even pick us up. The night Double sweet. down, dealer. Double down. I, I will say, though, even before that, I feel like we were kind of the villains. Yeah. We, we were, were all dressed well, in black. Were, right. I saw the, some of the pictures up there. I mean, you guys were playing up to it more than, which was, it was great. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm not, it was fantastic, all the posts I remember about it. But, I mean, you were pretty much definitely playing up to it. And, I mean, I say, I'm not even joking when I play the sound effect. You guys can't hear too good in here, but everybody at home can. Uh, with the, the dream shattered effect, mm -hmm. because... Again, let's throw. I, I'm friends with Ryan too. Same thing. Let's throw him under the bus. Who cares? Like, how crazy? What does that feel like when you're like, oh my god, guys? Like, we could be so close to something crazy. He's yeah. so black. That you don't know. <laughs> oh, you he felt even... guilty for a good three yeah. months. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hey, cool. Budweiser pushing. You know, drink responsibly, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. As I'm <laughs> sure they were just. Were they just handing them out at the time? Too? Absolutely, two dollar beers. Well, was it dollar a beer? I think. Or something like that. For some reason, I thought they were the buds were free. Everything else, you're right. You're right. They were the, free. the actual Budweisers or Bud Lights were yeah, all yeah. free. You they could were, drink <laughs> yeah. just because you were a, like one of the groups. You could drink. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> <man>. Free. <laughs> it's a right. good time though. So wait, right, so hold on. Now, before I try to move on to anything else that totally are different from this, whatever. Is there anything else you wanted to throw in? Because I know you were like, you got a couple. Now that's the one I know. You got anything in the same ballpark Stories? or tops it? Oh man, no. All I know is, I will plug something, is that we're gonna be doing, we used to do comedy oh, shows. Go ahead, yeah, hey, that was great back and in the day. You had what, I think 
maybe around five? We're six? five good ones. We did roast, but we're going to do a comedy roast, like the ones that you see on Comedy Central. And uh, You're bringing back the, the whatever roast. bro roast. Yep, yeah. but roast on this wait, guy. Not, yeah, but wait a minute. Didn't <clears throat> that happen already? Or? That happened five years ago. A lot of people didn't see it. Right, that's what I was going to say. But this, So that was like the unpublicized version. Yeah. 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 Let's pretend it never happened. This Let's like, remix like, three better. That was exactly. the Batman. This is the Dark Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good metaphor, right? So <laughs> the, the, the good thing about it is we have it's like a, same, we have a fan base now, you know. So yeah. we have people who oh, yeah. who would want to see this. And if you look back at the jokes that were in this roast, they are on par with Comedy Central. So we have we have to do that again. We have to film it right this time. We have to have mm -hmm. two hundred plus people. So that'll be coming in the summer. Look for that in Facebook. Joe Amaral, Scott Medeiros. Yep, uh, you'll see that soon. So that should be fun. Mm -hmm. Hey, like I said, you guys have done a couple, and I thought. The, I'll say, to be honest, probably about 70% were just were really good. And then the other ones, they, I don't think you had any bad ones. It was just you had, seven, I'd say, about 70% that were just really good with it. I 100% agree. And that was a great analogy. Bring it back like Batman. Who cares? Mm -hmm. you, you got special effects. You got pyro for this one. No, man. We just got, we just <laughs> got violent <laughs> jokes, man. Violent. Yeah, yeah. Dad. Some new ones. Probably recycle some old ones because a lot of people they haven't don't heard. Know. Who yeah. cares? That's Rob, right. Yeah. I told them. I, and then these jokes were so good. I was like, Justin and Corey. That's Justin Crofton and Corey Tinchara. Shout out. These guys are the best roasters on the planet. Man. Yeah. So they're they're there, and I've, I've see, we see we see the jokes. They need to be recycled. They need to be said again. Yeah, they have some good ones. You know, it, it ruins like another month of my life after that. You know, it's <laughs> tough to walk around. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, tough, it's tough to sit yeah. there and get insulted for two hours. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, all you guys do, you know, just sit there and deal with it. And eventually, when someone just blabbers, hey, all right, come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. Just, just get it out. You put your smile. Yeah, yeah. You put you put your smile on, sit there and take it. Don't worry about. It. Have yep. a couple drinks. Yeah, it's you like get, it's would, like. Would you be able to be roasted? Would I? Yeah. Honest to God, I don't know. I don't know. It depends who's doing it. <laughs> then I'll tell you that the answer is no. If, if no, it depends even, who's doing. Even... It depends who's doing it. Like you, you're getting it done by people who know you. Yeah, so it's all a personal. That's what I'm saying. So it's different because you know each other. So you've we've most likely like cracked on each other anyway. But they're digging anyway. So no matter who's roasting, like say. You gotta do your research. Yeah, say <laughs> you would get roasted. <laughs> yeah. Research would be done on you, and they'd be getting digging. Yeah, the they, process is real. It's awesome. Dude. Yeah. It's all fun though, and what's good is we'll you know get money. Um, Ten bucks a ticket. Wait, that's just I was gonna say. And that's the only money we've ever made in our lives. He's like, wait, you know, he's talking about. Well, you know, it's it's all right and it's good. And then pause. You get money. And <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> it's listen. If it's funny for everybody else, it's pretty much like if you want to pay me to laugh at me or like laugh at my shame. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're making it rain, laugh at my shame. I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> It'll work. So that'll, but, be, that'll um, be in the summer. That'll be coming in the summer. Awesome. So everybody look for that. Yeah. Uh, again, they roast the Scotty. Before. The fact that they're bringing them back, that's a big deal. I think that's that's uh, Now, does that mean, I know you, for everybody out there, I don't know. I'll, I'll say, I've said it before. I mean, your, your f uh, focus on the business end fluctuates. Are you guys in a, a wave, an upgrade? We're in a high. Yeah. yeah. You're right, yeah. No, I, I've, I know, and I've talked to him repeatedly in this, about this before. Every time you come out with something, it's like, this is great. So we're going to get more? Yeah, yeah, we're going to see. Well, Joe's always ready, and there's times where I'm up and down, and I'm holding him back. Yeah, yeah. sometimes he does something on his own. Sometimes I'll do something on my own. And but he's always, I'm saying, he's always ready. <clears throat> yeah. For me, I go, I have, like, bipolar, so sometimes I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to make videos Listen, this month. As long, the, this, and that's where it works good, then, with you both together, which I think, honestly, it is a good pair. I mean, you guys have known each other for a long time. Which I since, videos. Since, no, but I mean, you've known yeah. each other yeah. since pretty much, what, diapers, right? Absolutely. Yeah, Something great. long time ago, And man. we started making videos when we were nine. Ten? Yeah. Which we still have with, a VHS. Yeah, with one of those like camcorders you put yeah, on your yeah, shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> now does it got the like the, the Portuguese dad narrations or whatever? Like who's doing the filming <laughs> we, on it? That's, no, we we would, we we would stay in his basement, right? Like yeah. we uh, Oh you guys was actually saying yourself actually Yeah, we would we have sleepovers and you know how the Portuguese people have the basement where everybody hangs out pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, They're yeah, on yeah. the third floor. Joe cracks out his camera. We started doing skits. Nine years old, we have them still on VHS. We used a rotating bar stool as a tripod. Mm -hmm. We just put ingenuity, the camera. Ingenuity, like, American yeah. ingenuity, right? I don't there. have all this fancy stuff that you guys have. Uh, listen, know. one day, guys, I'm sure you'll make it to the big time. One, <laughs> day. one day, folks, we can all we can all dream, dream. keep the dream alive. Yeah. Um, all right, so I mean, like I said, I'm gonna put just for everybody watching this now on YouTube. I'm gonna try to figure it out where I think right here. I'm gonna put the subscribe right here. I'm oh, gonna yeah. put to subscribe there to is. There there it is. Is. <laughs> for the YouTube for the necessary media to subscribe. But I want you guys throw it up. Just, uh, intern, yeah, you guys throw up somewhere. I'll put the subscription annotation on this thing. You guys got a, a preference? It's Whatever, bro. Films. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right here? Like right here? Right, right there? Yeah, like right, right there. there. Right there. Right there. All right. So everybody right watching right this right now, right there. I can't, I'm not right going to over his it. face. I was like, I, I'm not, I don't know, guy. We can't do that. Half of my contract is dependent on this face All right. on Above. TV. I have the, the face for radio and the voice for TV. So we, we make it happen. But yeah, I'll put that out there for everybody watching this on YouTube. Because again, if you're watching this live on Com Comcast Channel 95, that's awesome. But make sure to subscribe to the Necessary Media YouTube page, www.youtube.com slash The Necessary Media. And then again, you guys want to give a shout out quick, youtube.com slash whatever bro whatever films. bro films whatever yep bro films. And, uh, anywhere in computer keep, whatever bro yeah films. keep on that because there's a lot of stuff coming now transitioning a little bit i want to get into some kind of topics of conversation uh i know you guys were a little bit worried this was going to get wicked serious I had, I had a lot of questions about what are we going to talk about i, like, I want to make sure I'm on that's the right we can't be serious anyway that's the point yeah. I, and i told everybody out there to know first off if you're a fan of the show or if you're going to become a fan of the show there's two things you need to understand one the show comes on a wednesday on purpose because it follows usually what is a tuesday four of a city council meeting so that i can definitely jump on anything that's of, of a hot topic and i can try to get somebody in who might be relevant to that hot topic so make sure you, you stay tuned for that on on every t uh, Wednesday following a city council meeting. But on the days that are off of that, I might have something serious if something serious is going on, but I think on days like this, I wanna try to lighten it up a little bit, switch up the mood, get a diff different types of content out there for the different types of viewers. So t I want it today to be a relaxed show, but we can still touch on, on, on a couple things with, with the stuff locally, but just get your relaxed opinion on it all. So how, how what was your, your guys take during this whole uh, forever going up and down with the, the three mayors in like two years, two, one and a half years almost, we've had three mayors. We miss Willie, don't Did, we? You, oh I, my God. I wouldn't say I missed Willie as a person. No. I missed as making fun of Willie. <laughs> yeah. Joe can't make fun of anybody. I hope Willie's watching right now. Hey, Will. I, I, I you know, I regret <laughs> uh, making fun of you too much. <laughs> I think um, it, wait, wait, can, can people see those videos are still up? The Willie Flan game? Yeah, on the whatever, a bunch of, those were. Yeah, yeah Willie, they're there. My Willie, Willie, what is it? Willie Flan Flan. How do you find those? Because I actually Just even... YouTube Willie Flan Flan. They're not Willie, on the whatever, bro? No, YouTube. Uh, no. no. Willie Flan Flan. Yeah. And this is Willie talking. To, just a voiceover. And voice, just check that out on YouTube. Yeah, you'll find it. Believe me, you'll we find it. We miss you, Will. So, all right, you know what? The, 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 all right, you say you can't make fun of the man anymore. I'm going to tell you right now. I've tried to find character, character, caricatures uh, to use for Jays of Korea, just no matter what, just for uh, political antics, whatever. What's the uh, the better word? Uh, when you can crack on a politician. Forgot the damn verbiage here. Or ridicule. Uh, no, ridicule. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, like another uh, like uh, satire. Satire. When, like just for satire reasons. If so, if you can make something funny, you can make it. Now, when we had Sam Sutter, I mean, immediately I jumped on the mayor from Quahog, Family Guy mayor. Yeah. I mean, Adam West. Looks like him. One hundred percent. So I've been trying and trying and digging through the uh, crates to find something for Jaisal. And, and I'm going to put this out there. This is the first time I, I don't think I've ever seen anybody do it. The closest thing I can find, tell me what you think of this, is uh, Raj from Big Bang Theory. Closest. Uh. Not, not exact. I said closest. If someone can hmm. show me closer, I want it. I want to use it. <laughs> I can't find anything. He's locked out in that department as of late. So you're 100% right. There's not much to roast him with character caricature wise but i mean sam Sutter was was gold i think not even i mean the voice well he was only in for what six months <laughs> he was just, he, he couldn't even he make a year warm and then yeah. he was kind of a jerk <laughs> listen yeah. i that's what killed it for him i yeah. think right, he didn't see, need to do that you yeah. know what it was in my opinion he didn't he just doesn't come, he didn't come off fall river period right. even nice fall river yeah. educated fall river uh, angry Fall River. No, it was a different kind of angry. Yeah. Yeah. What, what did it? No, Joe. Joe knows a lot about politics. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'll just tell you. Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. During one of those debates. Yeah. He went at Jay's on it was like it was a big sleazy. bully. It was very sleazy. It was like a big bully going at him. A lot of gays. And he tried to yeah, he tried yeah. to make fun of him basically saying how much money Jay's on made. And I was like, that's not gonna help your campaign. Yeah. I don't think you understand. I took a fifty-five thousand dollar pay cut. $55,000 pay cut. I don't think you understand what that's like at all. V verbatim. Yeah. That's pretty much yeah. what he said. Ver that, that verbatim. You. There's people in Forever who are just like, if they won a scratch ticket that said that, they'd just be like, that's awesome. And you're just like, I just lost that. Yeah. But I'm still good. Still good in the hood, though. <laughs> so, yeah, he was a pot. I don't, you know, I, don't I just, think no, I, th I think a lot of people have talked about him personally. And I mean, if you know him in a personal life, it might be, uh, 
uh, it might be good. I mean, he might be a good person. I mean, that's fine. This isn't a personal judgment. Um, but just as, like I said, for, for politics, I don't understand who, who told this man it'd be wise to get yeah. into Fall River. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was, uh, I Hard definitely one. was nervous about Jaisal because that, that's a young age to be becoming a, a mayor. Bit, a little bit. That, so that threw me off a little, but when, when you're such a bad guy as Sutter was. Right, it, I, I've said before, I think. Not a bad guy, but he came off no, as the bad guy. Yeah. Politically, yeah. Right. the bad guy. In the storyline of politics, that's exactly the character he, he portrayed, whether he liked it or not. Um, but I mean, Again, like with with, uh, with Jaisal and the, and the young thing, how how don't we have a reality show yet out of this? I know. No, Fall River can't get any residual income off of something like A and E or whatever, like because he's got to be what either like the first, second, third youngest probably in, in the country. I would assume. Yeah. I don't think there's much more you can beat that. I know there was a, I think a counselor out and was trying to run. I think it was Brock, and I might be wrong, but it was like 18, 19, maybe just touched that mm. age, like. I don't know what. Yeah, that, are we that's a little to much. Here? Right. I mean, are we try, what are we trying to do here? Like, it's the first one in. And it's, it's no, no. This is like that thing where you you're gonna get Doogie Hauser of, of politics. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? You're gonna go in there with this suit that barely fits, and you're gonna be like, "Well, I did it though. I did it younger than you, so I'm winning." No, man. You, you it's not right. Yeah. Like Doogie Hauser. I, I do miss Willie. The bottom line, I miss Willie. Well, Willie's, I don't, Willie's still doing things. I don't know if you've noticed that. He's still a pretty prominent figure. Yeah, he's into oh, law, I think. He's into well, law. he's into law, but I mean, he's got a pretty good uh, social media presence oh, yeah. still. I think he's, he's got more likes than Sam ever had, and I think he's, he might have more likes on it, on his page and Twitter and all that stuff than uh, Jaisal even right now. Yeah, probably. I think so. So, Congrats. shout out to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cass, listen, I, he's not doing, I, he is not doing bad at all, so I think people need to understand that. He, he's not hurting at all. Mm. Um, anything else you guys in the local scene touching a nerve with you? How are you liking the Braga Bridge? Local scene. Uh, well, they've been working on that since it was built in uh, what year? 1962? Yeah, they've since they've been working on it. Yeah, <laughs> That's not ending. I don't even go to Swansea anymore, so I don't even <laughs> stay here, man. Well, we're, we're going to have the, the boats or whatever. You can use the boats, maybe, yeah. I guess. Who I knows? Yeah. Whoa, hey, boats, Segway, waterfront. What, what's, your, what's your opinion on the waterfront area? I think it's nice. It's pretty. Well, what do you? What well, are you in comparing general. it to? Another much better waterfront. What do you? <laughs> well, because the hot topic in, in politics is what the heck's going to go on with the waterfront, and we constantly have, um, we constantly have people pushing it as a, a tourist spot. But what the heck? You know, do you want it as a tourist uh, spot or a hub, a job hub? Because in other words, you are comparing it to places like the Cape, places like Newport. How's that? Uh, it's cool if anybody who goes to the waterfront stays on the waterfront and doesn't go anywhere else. True. Right yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, maybe grab a drink at the Cove and then go home. Yeah, go home. Don't go anywhere um, else. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. But I mean, they, they could build upon what they have. They just haven't in years. I mean, the only good thing on the waterfront right now is like Tipsy and the Cove. Well, what else you got besides right, that? I power heard plant. There's going to be developments where the, the pretty much the plan is to make this like triangle unit. So, the Rock is in the building. They're going to be boy. right. Illuminati confirmed. They're going to. Um, <laughs> They kind of, the, the, the plan is to have a, a triangle of uh, tourism, I guess, that lead down to the waterfront. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to wrap up this show. Uh, I want to oh, go into real quick. I only need probably about 30 seconds for this. I'm going to go into the fan favorite No Flex Zone Award of the Week. No Flex Zone. No Flex Zone. They know They know that's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're on the no flex zone. The no flex zone is a zone where you do not belong flexing. And by flexing, I mean doing anything you are not supposed to be doing in a place you're not supposed to be doing it. And this week is just gonna be real quick, simple, and easy. This week's no flex zone award goes out to the uneducated voter in the city. And why I say that is again, I didn't want to get into it on this, this topic or on the show, but we just had uh, Jason Correa come out and pretty much put out his, his press conference for how he's gonna enforce pay as you throw. And all I, or the majority, about 70% of what I see in here is people talking about how he's gone back on his, what he's promised during the campaign, he's a liar on this, he's like, now you can have whatever opinion you want on him as a politician, that's fine. But if you had any idea of what was going on throughout his whole campaign, he constantly said he was for pay as you throw. He constantly said he wanted enforcement of pay as you throw. That's the only way it's going to work. He just said constantly that it was rolled out wrong, the implementation was wrong, and all that stuff. So get educated, and then we'll go on. That's going to be the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd even use a piece of paper, but I am not ending the show without it. 
Unite! Thank you, whatever, bro, films. Yeah. Scotty Medeiros, Joe Amaral, make sure you check them out. YouTube, subscribe to the channels. The channels, bing bang! Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See you next week.